here's just a couple of thoughts on this great Joe Henderson interview I just listened to on YouTube. I'm going to put the link. The link will be right down there in the comments section. He's there with John Schofield. It's from 1996, and it's quite, uh, it lasts about an hour, I think. And it's just great to hear these two guys uh, talk about music and seeing the slight differences between their generations as Schofield's a little younger than Joe Henderson. One thing that really stuck out was the discussion they had about transcribing and Joe Henderson was quite emphatic. I wrote down a couple things he said. He says, you, you have got to do that yourself. Every time you set that arm down onto that record to transcribe seven notes or however many your brain can hold, you hear something different. I'm kind of paraphrasing there, but he said that, you know, he was talking about using records too, which I remember learning things off of records, but he said every time you put it down there, by doing it yourself, he said you'll hear the bass player, you hear what the drummer's doing, you hear the inflections, and, and that is so true, and I, you know, I, I'm not the only one who says this, everyone says this, but with the prol proliferation of material, you can buy books, you know, I remember when the Omni book came out, first for Charlie Parker, and uh, now they have them for all these different people. But there's no there's no substitute for doing your own transcriptions and really delving into the music yourself and getting close to it. And I think, you know, I would echo what he says in this interview that it's it's um, it's so much better to do it yourself. It's ear training. It's getting closer to the music. He even uses that expression. And Schofield then reiterates the same thing and says, you know, when you learn it that way, you really learn it. So. I would suggest checking that interview out. It's really a great thing. Uh, I did have a, uh, an encounter with Joe Henderson, um, and I took a lesson with him in San Francisco many years ago. I went to his house. I was out on the road, and um, it was just great. He was so gracious, and it was before he, you know, he had he made a record there in the '90s at a certain point, which really propelled him into much more notoriety, even though he'd been around forever. And um, I had gone to see him. I was out on the road. Oh, man, said it'd be 1985. And, he, and we were in Hollywood. It was my first time to California and everything. We happened to have a day off. And I, and I looked. Somehow I found out there was a club walking distance. And he was playing there with Billy Higgins. So I went down there. And just was, what a great uh, experience, great performance. So I talked to him afterwards. Completely gracious guy. He said, I said, you know, I'm going to be in San Francisco next week for the whole week, which is where he, I knew he lived, or he told me he lived there. And I said, I'd like to take a lesson. So he gave me his phone number and said, sure, call me up. And uh, I took this great lesson with him, you know, it lasted two, three hours, hung out. And it was, um, you know, I'll, I'll tell about that in the future. But it was really just a great, wonderful, gracious person. I think this interview is really great that he does here. And, uh the thing he says about transcribing really hits home that, you know, you've, you've got to do it yourself. And and one thing I noticed, too, is he says is that uh, he's talking about writing arrangements for his big band and the process and how much work it was and how he would write two measures and eight measures and bring it to rehearsal. And that's how he learned by doing it, you know, painstakingly. And he didn't write like the big band formula. He wanted it to sound this way or that way. And then Schofield talks about Gil Evans saying the same thing, like spending all this time just to get this per perfect voicing for a B minor seven flat five. And that, you know, that to, to, to try to get away from the formula and really being willing to do, do the work. And that's one thing I notice in a lot of interviews when I listen to these great players being interviewed. They never complain about the difficulty of the work. They just talk about the fact that it is difficult, but the, but they do it willingly and happily, really. So check it out. I put the link to the interview right down in the comments. John Schofield and the great Joe Henderson. It's really fascinating. I, I find I like to go back and revisit these things over and over and listen to them. I always get something else out of it. It uh, beats uh, the hell out of sitting around listening to some mindless drivel, <laughs> you know, like reality shows or something. This is a reality show. This is these guys really discussing their craft, and it's really wonderful.